What is up guys, Chris here and welcome to my first Destiny video here on my channel. I know the coverage is starting sort of late, but I've been playing this game all day and uh, I just couldn't stop. I didn't want to stop to make videos, I just wanted to play the game. I enjoyed it so much. And what we're going to talk about is just Destiny in general today, just like my first impressions. Impressions. Wow, I can't talk right now. I'm sorry. It's a bit late, so I'm sorry if I'm a bit quiet and I if I mess up words and stuff because I'm tired and uh, I I don't want to wake up anyone. So I hope you guys will bear over with me. But the gameplay I got for you guys is some Rumble, aka free for all. Uh, and I was playing with Geo Sani. Uh, he actually didn't know. So that when I killed him in the beginning, he was like, "What the fuck, man." <laughs> Why are we playing against each other? He didn't know what the game mode was. I was just the, I was the fire team leader So he got quite confused when I suddenly killed him like what the hell? Um, and the guns I was using was this Cydonia AR3 and then the Cerces Cerces C uh, Machine gun and then I don't remember what my fusion rifle was called But I'll leave that in the uh, description below if you want to check that out. I had some pretty powerful weapons uh, I was level 11 I believe when we went into this match level up towards the end and uh, This Cydonia I believe has like 99 attack and uh, the fusion rifle had 89 attack and the, the Machine gun 89 as well. I believe so pretty powerful weapons uh, since then I've gotten them upgraded quite a bit um, But there was actually my first game of rumble which I came out on top of like pretty convincingly I went 24 and 9 and Geo actually came second with 14 and 14, so I won by 10 kills, which was pretty, pretty impressive, in my opinion. Especially considering the, it was the first time I played the map too. I actually haven't played a lot of the Crucible so far. I've just been grinding out the levels, trying to get the best gear, and uh, so far I think it's paid off, definitely. Um, I've gotten a Shinjin C as well, which I believe was the best weapon in the beta. And so far it's the best weapon I've got my hands on, even though I haven't tried it in the Crucible yet. But it does seem like they've made a few changes. For example, the Shinjin has gotten a slightly lower magazine size now than it had in the beta. And also the, uh, what's it called, the pulse rifles seem to be a lot more powerful than they were in the beta. I actually played my first game of the Crucible with a PSI Umbra rifle, which is a pulse rifle. And I went like 24 and 7 on first light, which was the map I hated the most uh, from the beta. And I was just really surprised. It was actually really good to play with. So it seems like they've changed around a few things. Also, I didn't find the, sh the snipers to be quite as good uh, as they were in the beta. Maybe that's just me having to get into the uh, shape of things again with the snipers. But I found the shotguns to be good again. Well, I really loved using the shotguns in the alpha, but I didn't enjoy them at all in the beta. But now I do enjoy them again. So I think Bungie has definitely tweaked a few things. Also, the launchers seem a little less powerful, and the machine guns a little more powerful. And actually, talking about machine guns, I just want to talk about the machine gun I'm using in this gameplay. The Serches C, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but it's a re really cool machine gun, and it has quite a unique ability, I think, where when you aim down sight, the fire rate is lower, but the damage output is higher. And at first, I didn't think much of this. I just thought, well, I like high fire rates because it's fun, you know, high fire rate, just spray them down. But what I didn't think about is when you have high damage and low fire rate, you don't have to use as many bullets to kill your enemies. So I actually almost got a triple with only 15 bullets, which is pretty insane in Destiny. Unfortunately, my gun just suddenly stopped firing because I, has, I thought I had more bullets, uh, but I didn't. But it's actually quite a good ability when you think about it. But um, I gotta say... I've been enjoying Destiny so much, as you can probably tell. Uh, as I said, I, I can't stop grinding out the levels. I've gotten quite far in the story as well. And it's just so enjoyable. Like Sometimes uh, you'll face like a crazy enemy that'll just take ages to take down. But when you finally take him down, it's just like the most rewarding feeling ever. And you get awesome gear for it and so on. So it's just... It's always a win-win, even if you get sort of a boring mission, you may get awesome loot for it. And just the part about searching around for loot itself is really awesome. And uh, I don't really know what to talk about. I feel as though I'm repeating myself. I'm not sure if I actually am. I'm tired. So I think I'm going to leave the commentary here and uh, you guys can enjoy the rest of the gameplay. And stay tuned for much more Destiny. I will promise I will upload much more than I have done so far. I know it's a bit late to start the coverage, but 
Stay tuned, and I'll see you on my next Destiny video. Peace. Heavy ammo available. This isn't a fight, it's a massacre. You've shown your might, Guardians. 